Hi guys, there is something uh, new and interesting I want to show you today. So I got this uh, probably a few weeks ago uh, from Texas Instrument. Uh, this is uh, wireless um, MCU CC3200, which is uh, essentially a sensor tag development kit, like uh, like I showed you some time ago. But this is this time it's um, it's Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi supported, so it has. Uh, instead of Bluetooth chips, Bluetooth for LE, uh, it has Wi-Fi chip. All right, let's unbox it and see how it looks like and what uh, how it works. Also, also, I'll try to connect it to my phone and um, see how can you know how can I retrieve any uh, some kind of data out of it. So it has standard type of uh, papers. It usually comes with um, TI evaluation uh, kits and boards. Um, can pull side for, for now. So here, how it looks like. Oh. So it, very similar to um, STK's uh, 2650 development Bluetooth development or evaluation kit. Um, has the same kind of silicone thing. Uh, I don't know the co silicone cover. Oops, that feels nice. Um, it's exactly sim the same for from Fractor, but what I see, they added like two AAA batteries, as I believe this um, cheap 3200 uh, will consume more because it's Wi Fi. And uh, I guess, I don't know what the range of it was the uh, battery consumption. Mm, yeah, but uh, I can try to measure it actually. So it looks very similar to Bluetooth mm, uh, sensor tag. It has exactly the same number of sensors, which are... Uh, so it has 10 sensors. Uh, light, it has digital microphone, magnetic sensor, uh, humidity sensor, pressure, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, temperature and ambient temp object temperature, ambient temperature. Essentially, I guess it's going to measure infrared, uh, infrared light using those light sensors. Uh, in order to, I don't know how to operate it. I guess I have to try to read the manual. But that's how it looks out of the box. So, oh yeah, also you can connect debug pack um, or debug extension to, in order to uh, uh, connect. IDE to it or connect it to computer and upload your code in it. Let's try to look closer. Looks like they saw, uh, I remember in uh, pre in Bluetooth um, sensor tag they add they had two unpopulated battery leads. It's, I think it says says battery. Now they just solder two leads to the battery compartment over here, and um, that's how it's going to power with three volt all this uh, sensor tag. Here is the close-up shot. As you see, it's very similar to um, very similar layout to Bluetooth sensor tag. Uh, I, I probably can help probably. Pull the other side later. I'll take uh, high-res pictures and I post on my on my website. Now we'll try to power it. Oops. Okay, there is some little red light blinking. I'm not sure what's really happening and what's the installation and connect connecting procedure. I guess I have to quickly read it somewhere. Or at least install the application, which is listed in this um, uh, manual, which comes with the with the sensor tag. Okay, I have my phone, and um, I do ha in manual here it says install the sensor tag uh, app from the you know App Store and Google Play. So I I do believe I have sensor tag app already installed. I'm not sure. Looks like there is something Texas Instrument. No, this is not sensor tag. Oh. Sorry for that. Sensor tag.
Oh, here we are. Connect. So it appears like sensor tag dash 7a in list of my Wi-Fi networks. So it asks me to connect it, connect to it directly. So I'm abandoning my uh, Wi-Fi network and connect it to this thing directly. All right, I'm connected. I guess this was very so very simple, as simple as it can be. Can I do it? No, we're not gonna upgrade firmware right now. All right. So, and we see here very similar interface as we saw for the Bluetooth sensor tag. So it looks like accelerometer doing stuff, something barometer measuring. The pressure, humidity is 20, 26% humidity, that's pretty dry actually. <laughs> temperature 22 degrees, temperature 13, I know that's 13, it's not that cold here. And uh, here we are, I can press some buttons I believe. Doesn't do anything. Meh. Alright, that was super super easy. Now question how to connect this thing to my Wi-Fi network and if possible to the cloud and pull some data through the cloud. So this probably will be more advanced video for that because I did not do any research in order to um, figure out how to connect this thing to the cloud and if, I mean, what, whose cloud, and the, will Texas Instrument provide some sort of out-of-the-box cloud connectivity to trying that. But it works, it works very nicely and I bet the range will be way better than with the uh, Bluetooth sensor tag. But obviously, when I connect it like that, my phone cannot connect to internet, or, so this is no-go. So here we are. Um, here it is, uh, Simplink Wi-Fi sensor tag from Texas Instrument, featuring CC3200 wireless uh, chip. Uh, I actually really like it. I have already a few ideas brewing in my mind in order to uh, do something with it. Uh, yeah, some I can do several interesting project projects, um, and mm, I might even share one of the projects here on YouTube with you guys. I think it will be a pretty cool project. So thank you very much. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.